Okay. Okay, who's got a distance for me? 3.2. 3.2? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, before I put the 3.2 on, where does it go? I need to draw some more stuff on here. Yep, so j just like before. Oh man. I need more I need more blue tack. Um just like before, I'm gonna need an, an easterly line, so I'm gonna just move this out of the way. And then I need to complete this right angle triangle in here. Right? Which of the lengths is it? It's the bottom one, right? There's the you said 3.2, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. wonderful. Yeah. Alright, now the next question doesn't require any more trigonometry, okay? What they're asking for is not how far east of x is y, not how far east of y is z. They want to know the total. Do you see that? Read the question. They say, how far east of x is z? Does that make sense? Yeah, the whole distance. So I'm actually going to put an, another set of lines over here, like so. You see that? So it's uh, this was 6, no, 5.6. That was 3.2, so what's the total? 8.8. 8. 8. Thumbs up. Okay, so let's actually draw that. Okay, is that alright? Now, the next part of the question, part B, is a little bit repetitive. They're asking you to do the same thing, but what they want is these vertical distances instead. I'm going to save us some time because it's the same idea. I'm going to get straight to the end of that question so we can look at the final part, which is where it's interesting. Uh, those vertical distances are adding up to 5.9. Can you add that onto your diagram as well so you have that alongside my distances? Okay, so I just sort of skip part B and eventually this is what you end up with. Across ways I know it's 8.8, .8. up and down, north south, I've got 5.9. Okay. Now can you, yeah, question? Okay, so part B is about working out this and then working out this oh. and then you add them. But because the process is the same as what we just did, I'm sort of skipping it. Okay. Now the final question, can you read part C for me? Have a look at it closely. Reading is a really important part here. What are they asking? Okay, so where are we going to have to construct on this diagram to answer part C? Oh, it's just like along, like like so words, yeah, so <laughs> directly from yeah. X, the bottom left hand corner, all the way up. Let's see if we can do this. I don't have, uh, yeah, I'm going to ruin my diagram. That's all right. Straight from X to Z, okay. Number one, I'm going to find a distance. Number two, I'm going to find a bearing, okay. Fantastic. You can see by virtue of the second principle drawing a nice, decent diagram. What is this whole thing? The whole thing. It's one big right angle triangle, isn't it? Wait, I don't get the point of your 5.9 in your... It's going to work out the long path on you. Yeah, so I'm trying to find out xz now, yeah? This long distance here. So I'm going to go a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Are you happy with that? So I'm actually going to... I'll write that out for you. What I want is the hypotenuse. So that's why you want me to find that yeah, then we were, we were going somewhere, yeah. right? Multipart questions always do this, right? Have you got the vibe of this? I'm doing this and this so that I can get to here. Like so. Okay. Um, I'm going to get my calculator unless someone beats me to the number. The, have you already taken the square root? Yes. yes. You've already taken the square root? Okay, so I'll... Uh, you've got some number here, mm -hmm. and then after that, 8 point... 10 point 1, 3, 4, 4. Hold on, wait, what? 10 point 10 point 10 10 10 10 yeah, 10 point 6. 6. Okay, so I'll, oh, do, I'll right. do one decimal place. And by the way, one of the reasons why I sort of went, hmm, is because if this is 8 point 8, the hypotenuse has to be longer, yeah? Okay, good. So there we go, happy times. The last question, I think that was part one. The last question is what? What are they asking? They want the bearing from the start to the finish. Uh, How should I do that? What do you yeah, so. Um, it was bearing of Z to X. Oh. No, from Z, Z from, from X. Ah, oh. oh, so yes. it's good that we check. This is the whole point, right? So we want the bearing of Z from X. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. Okay. So where's that angle? Where is the angle? It's going to be. Where do I draw the angle? Oh, it says from. 
from, from X, so you can oh, do it right X. So I'm starting over here? From the north line. From so north? Long, really long, yeah, that one. To XZ, right? See, XZ is the name of this line, because it's from X to Z. Is that okay? Now, this angle is not inside the triangle. Do you see that? It's not inside the big triangle I just made. Okay? But it is equal to one of the angles that is inside the triangle. Which one? Yeah, the alternate one that's right up in the corner, okay? Draw it carefully because it's the big triangle, so I'm pretty sure it's this one. That one there. Do you see it? So how would you like me to... Actually, uh, I don't have a name for that. Um, let's call this point over here, let's call this P for point. What's the name of the angle I'm finding out? PZX, I think. PZX, is that alright? So the angle I'm after is PZX. How am I going to find out its size? I'm going to use trig. Um, I actually have all the sides in this triangle now. Um, now that I've done this, I could use um, sine, that'd go opposite on hypotenuse. I could use cos, that'd go adjacent on hypotenuse. Or I could use tan, which is opposite on adjacent. Okay. Uh, just as a point of, it's a minor point, you really could have used any of those. I'm going to choose tan because I found these distances first. So they're the least approximated, as it were. So I'll get the best accuracy that way. Okay, so tan uh, opposite on adjacent. You're going to get a number out of that, and then what you want is the angle afterwards. So you're going to have to press shift tan. Has someone got a size for me? Degrees and nine minutes. Okay, we'll just go closest degree is 5, 56 degrees. I'll say nearest degree. Okay. Now at this point, I think everyone here would get full marks, okay? But just a minor thing, I'm going to reread the question. This is not actually the angle I was asked for, was I? Right? Even though it's the same size, the actual angle I was asked for was over here. So I'm going to just conclude this off, just like the conclusion in an essay, I'm going to say, therefore, the bearing um, of Z from X, or you could say from X to Z, either of those are fine, is, how do I write this? Zero, five, six. Very good. True. Either of those is fine. Okay, are you happy? See where we did it? Okay, so, let me pause for a moment there. It's a long question, it's got many parts. That's because there are so many angles and lengths to work out. This is typical of bearings questions. So a bearings question you guys will encounter might be worth four, five, six marks, split across several parts, just like this one is, okay?